Hello everybody, welcome to the Rockin' Crystals channel. Today we are going to be talking about crystals for protection from spirits. If you feel like you need such a thing in your life, and if you're looking for protection from what you believe may be ghosts, paranormal uh, spirits, or other supernatural entities that may not have your best interests at heart, uh, these are some protective crystals that can help you. Certain varieties of crystals are believed to have protective powers against spirits. Some function as a spiritual shield against negativity, whilst others ground the user to help them remain more calm. The following are some crystals that you can use for protection from spirits. Amethyst is good for overall protection, and it enhances your meditation and spiritual practices. Uh, when used in tandem with protective stones such as jet or shungite, it can help uh, the user to safely sense any uh, ghosts or paranormal presence around them, and also to divine the intention of that spiritual presence. Apache Tear is excellent for absorbing negative energy and for protecting the aura. Black Kyanite is a helpful crystal for protection of your own personal energy field. Black Tourmaline works to protect the environment around you as well as your own personal energy field, and it also helps to cleanse any stagnant or negative energies. Black Onyx is good for strength, and it works to transform negative energy into positive energy, helping you to build up emotional resilience. It offers grounding and protection, positivity and confidence. Black Obsidian is good for protection and for intuition. It is a grounding stone. Hematite is a, also a grounding stone and a protective stone that helps to dissolve negativity and boost, strengthen and shield the auric field. <laughs> the jet brings the energy uh, that is grounded with, brings an energy rather that is grounded with calmness. It is good for protection. Why is he laughing to himself? Who knows? <laughs> it's good for protection against witchcraft when used together with red jasper. It's just because something rhymed. I sometimes can't resist a, a, a rhyme. It helps to alleviate feelings of fear. Labradorite is a highly mystical and protective stone that raises consciousness and deflects unwanted energies from the aura, and it removes other people's projections onto you, onto you, which may be projections onto you. It <clears throat> removes other people's projections onto you, onto you, off of you, off of you. Peridot, let's move on. Peridot is sometimes called the feel better stone. It offers protection from outside influences and it helps with anger and with stress and with emotional blockages. Pyrite is an excellent energy shield that blocks out negative energies and pollutants at, at all levels. It protect, protects subtle and physical bodies and helps to deflect from harm. It returns negative energy to its source. Selenite is a crystal for, uh, is rather the crystallized form of divine light, or it's thought to be. It creates a safe space uh, and uh, for peaceful, that helps to facilitate a peaceful meditation and a peaceful harmony within your uh, environment. It has a high vibration that prevents anything external from influencing the mind. It is a fantastic protection stone. It creates a protective grid around your space and a large piece placed in your home can even protect your entire house. Uh, Shungite is a phenomenal shielding stone with a purifying power. It, it is a cleansing stone that cleanses and purifies the body, the mind, and the spirit. It grounds spiritual energies into the body and anchors the body to the earth. It protects against EMF and geopathic stress as well. Smoky quartz is one of the most effective grounding and cleansing stones. It is a protective stone that brings a positive vibration to your space. A smoky quartz wand is an excellent tool for grounding negative energy and removing entities. There are several ways you can bolster your emotional strength with crystals for protection. They can be worn uh, or placed on a altar. They can be used to create crystal grids. They can be held in your hands or used in your meditation practices. 
If you're starting to feel that somebody else's or something else's uh, energy is bothering you, it's best to step away and find a quiet area and reconnect with your inner uh, frequency. Uh, holding a crystal in your hand, protection stones work best when they have a job to do. It is important to first cleanse your crystal with sage and smoke, and these can also be helpful just in generally clearing out energy and entities from your space. Uh, and then set an intention for your protective crystal. You can set an intention by stating it aloud or by asking for divine protection within your uh, within your mind <laughs> when you work with crystals for protection you'll begin to feel more grounded and more emotionally resilient you can use the crystals for protection when you are feeling vulnerable and also as a preventative measure you can win a crystal by leaving a comment and letting us know what you love about crystals also be subscribed to this channel we give away a new crystal with every video upload if you're looking to buy crystals we have some amazing deals available at our crystal shop link in the description below grab yourself a free copy of the crystal compendium which has over 250 crystal definitions link in the description below join our crystal affiliate program if you'd like to make money selling crystals we pay a 20 2% commission for referred sales. Enroll in our crystal healing course. Link in the description below along with the link to our affiliate program and check out the Crystal Meanings app in both the App Store and Google Play Store for crystal meanings and definitions at your fingertips. It's absolutely free, pun intended. And of course, be subscribed to this channel because we learn something about crystals every single day. And who doesn't love learning about crystals? Okay, have a great day.